Leo, welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a weekly reading for Leo from the 15th to the 21st of April 2019. Please don't forget to watch your moon and rising sign for a more complete picture. If you would like a personal reading, I'll put my details in the description box. Uh, so please go to my website to book a reading. I've also put the decks that I'm using in the description box. Uh, so please have a look. And don't forget to watch my simple energy healing remedy videos that I've been putting out as well as my deck reviews. I will link them at the end of the video. So like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if these messages resonate with you. So I'm starting off with a general energy read and then I will do a general tarot read for you afterwards. So the first card is versatility and this is needing to adapt to a situation and see things from a very, very different perspective. You've got the sun in Gemini over here. So this is about, you know, focusing about thinking about yourself through that situation, Think you're, thinking yourself out of that problem and a lot of clarity coming to light as well. Now you might be involved in some kind of dispute or quarrel uh, that involves, um, possibly, you know, something to do with the family uh, and it involves a home because you've got Mars there in Cancer, so it's something to do with a home. You are, uh, you know, having a problem with somebody within the family situation and it's something to do with inheritance. So uh, there might be some kind of issue going on and uh, maybe you are having to fight uh, to get your inheritance or fighting for inheritance at this particular moment. So in the past, you've been starting, you've started something new, been expanding your horizons here. You've got Jupiter sitting in um, uh, Aries over here. So you've been thinking about making, you know, you've been making new plans and you've been very hands-on in whatever decisions have been made. Uh, that have been made as, as well. So you are really, uh, you know, putting your energies and focus on trying to uh, bring something into um, uh, fruition. You are trying to manifest something at the moment. You've been feeling very isolated uh, within your work situation. Maybe you're feeling very, very unsupported. We've got um, Saturn here in um, uh, Virgo. So feeling very, um, as they said, isolated. You're feeling as though, uh, you know, a you're having to stand up for yourself or stand by yourself very, very unsupportive at this particular moment. Now, there seems like there is somebody around you that is there to support you, but this is how you've been feeling very, very lonely in your job. So going into the future, it seems like there's revenge on your mind here. Uh, it seems like, you know, you you have maybe, uh, you know, this person that you're dealing with on a family basis is giving you a lot of grief and, you know, you're trying to get yours back. Uh, you've got Mars in uh, Scorpio over here. So you, you're very upset about whatever is going on as far as inheritance or whatever that family problem is. And you're trying to get your revenge as well. And then you've got the moon in Capricorn over here. So this is also getting back to work and focusing on your work. So maybe whatever happens in that family situation, maybe you're not going to be able to deal with it. Uh, you know, it, it, it might be something that you're going to have to let go and move on and just really focus back on your work uh, with this moon in Capricorn and uh, trying to get your abundance um, by that means rather than expecting some kind of um, inheritance. It seems to be quite a battle going on over there. Uh, and, you know, it's, it's a battle of our home, it seems, uh, and uh, you know, uh, it, it seems like it's it's quite a um, a harsh quarrel, if you like, because there's Mars there in Scorpio, and both of these, you know, Scorpio is ruled by Mars. So the Mars on Mars shows that the energies are very, very aggressive and very negative, and you're having to deal with that kind of energy. So those are the uh, that's the energy read for that week. So I'm using the Game of Thrones tarot, and um, I have done a deck review for this particular deck. I will link it at the end of the video. So it's good to have a look at the uh, deck walkthrough um, after seeing how the deck is being read. Okay, let's see what this deck has got to say. So bottom of the deck, you've got the Page of Swords. So there's some kind of legal decision pending or you will hear some kind of legal news and that is coming in pretty quickly. Uh, you know, you are dealing with somebody who is very uh, nasty or very vindictive. This might be that family quarrel that you're um, dealing with and there might be legal implications. So maybe, uh, you know, the whole thing has been... Um, 
uh, sorted out on a legal basis and you're expecting or you're waiting for news to come in. Now, the, the Page of Swords is generally somebody who lies a lot. Or, you know, there's a lot of untruth. Um, there's a lot of uh, treachery that goes on with this Page of Swords. They carry a lot of tales. Uh, they're not a very nice energy to work with. But it's some legal news coming in for you. Now, uh, you've got the Nine of um, Cups over here. Sorry, the Nine of Coins and the Magician. So it looks like whoever you're dealing with, uh, you know, they're very... Um, with the Magician card, it is about manifestation. But it's also dealing with energies that lie a lot. So maybe the person you're dealing with is lying and very manipulative. And they're trying to manipulate you out of your money or out of your independence. Now it looks like there is some, uh, you know, you are very financially independent. There might be money coming to you. But you're dealing with this person who's blocking that money from coming to you because of the lies and the nastiness that they're on that they're speaking so whatever that situation that is going on it's a really deceptive nasty kind of energy that is going on and it's somebody that is preventing you from getting uh you know maybe a payoff uh, maybe in inher inheritance as well although you are very independent of the situation you are a you know a self-made person but it seems like this person is causing a lot of problems as well now, in the past year, you've got the Wheel of Fortune coming in over here. So things have been changing for you. You might have been doing a lot more travel. You've got the World card. There's also a completion of cycles. And maybe you're reaching closure as far as the situation goes. Now you, have, you may have done quite a bit of travel as well, like I said. And you may have ended an old job. And maybe you're going to be starting a new cycle as far as work goes as well. Because the World card is ruled by Saturn. Now, there's the five of spears over here. So this is talking about a lot of dispute and arguments and problems going on. So with this magician person who is a very manipulative, really not a very nice person or nice energy to deal with, um, it seems like maybe you're having problems with them and you're having a lot of arguments and they're very competitive and they're trying to, um, you know, con you out of whatever is rightfully yours. And it seems like you're not standing for it. You are fighting for it. Now, you've got the Temperance card over here, and this is about, uh, you know, uh, trying to get that balance back again. Uh, as far as your work goes, this might be, you know, you're doing some further study, um, you know, trying to uh, further your career as well. You can see this person is with the books. And a lot of things are coming to light. Now, with the Temperance card, it also talks about getting some uh, good advice, some solid advice from somebody around you in order to get through a difficult situation. So you might need to go and get some legal advice uh, with regards to this particular situation that you're dealing with you've got the queen of cups so you're pretty upset feeling very lonely very miserable very um unhappy about what is going on uh you know on an emotion level so maybe whatever this family dispute is or whatever this dispute is over inheritance it's made you feel very isolated but it's made you feel very very upset now you've got the chariot card over here so this person that you're dealing with is quite a a problem you can see there's this huge big monster over here and people are you know up in arms against this person so whatever this person whoever this person is you're dealing out there presenting quite a big problem and they're causing they're stirring up a lot of, of um, you know um, problems uh, for you now you will be able to conquer this because the chariot card is about um, winning a situation uh, but it's going to take a lot of effort on your part and you're gonna to have to really stand up and fight for whatever is yours or whatever you deserve. You've got the Tower card coming in as well, which is talking about big shifts in energy and a lot of drama that you're going to be facing soon. Now going into the future, you've got the Queen of Swords, the Empress, and the Two of Spears. So the Queen of Swords is that you're very determined to get uh, your way in this situation. You're willing, you know, you've been through a lot of problems, but you're determined and you are uh, taking that power back in your hands. You can see nothing phases this particular woman and you're going to fight this particular case no matter what. It seems like there was a lot of legal issues that you are facing and you're willing to fight it and you're willing to, you know, you're, you're going to go the distance and you're very determined uh, to get your way. You get, you've got the Empress card over here. So it looks like, you know, after all the problems, you can see her back is turned to this Queen of Swords. It looks like, you know, you will uh, win this particular fight um, because the Empress is about abundance and abundance coming in and you'll be able to move away from all those difficulties. You can see she's sailing away from everything that is giving her problems and making plans for the future. So whatever this is, it's going to be a difficult struggle, but you are going to be able to get away from it. And this person is also turning their back to it. So you are going to be able to make some plans and you are waiting for some news to come in as well 
so you might be making even plans to travel um, after this whole situation has sorted itself out. There's some kind of decision that you have to make with the two of spears which is the two of rods, whether to leave that situation behind and move on or whether to, uh, uh, you know, confront it. So you are facing yourself a dilemma with, you know, you're trying to decide whether or not this battle is worth it. Um, because there's a lot of drama that comes in with this particular situation. You can see this person seems to be uh, very difficult to control or the situation seems to be very difficult to control. Uh, and, you know, the chariot is about, you know, it's a, it's a card that's ruled by cancer. So it is something to do with the home. It is that dispute that is going on on the home front. And, um, you know, it is upsetting you quite a bit over here with the Queen of Cups. You're very, very unhappy about what is going on. And it seems to be very, very difficult. So it seems like in the end you're going to have to make a decision whether or not you want to uh, fight that particular battle because there seems to be lots of obstacles uh, preventing you from moving forward or whether or not, uh, you know, you want to um, uh, leave it and walk away from it. So it seems like there's some kind of decision that you will eventually have to kind of make uh, about whether or not you want to fight it, uh, because it's going to take a lot out of you for fighting it, or whether you want to just abandon it and move forward. So you've, I'm going to just draw some cards from the... Um, animal tarot and it's got the queen of summer over here which is it, this is a time of deep emotions and heightened intuition that you can uh, trust completely be mindful that you don't ignore your own needs while caring for others so the queen of summer is actually that queen of uh, cups over here so this is appearing twice in the spread of here so it looks like you know you're gonna have to make some kind of decision you are feeling quite upset about it and quite emotional about what is going on you might be crying quite a bit as well but um you know you've got a new moon over here so a new phase a new cycle coming in and since the swan is sailing away or, or swimming away you may you know for your own emotional well-being you might need to just abandon that situation and move on you've got the queen of autumn over here you will be given advice that is both practical and creative and it shouldn't and it should be followed precisely focus upon the positive in every situation or person so it looks like there's some kind of advice coming in for you here. Now, the temperance card, it also talks about getting some proper advice and you need to follow this advice to the T in order for you to move forward. So you might need to go and get some either professional advice or seek advice from somebody you can trust in order to see what to do with this particular situation. You've got the Prince of Autumn and it is important to make a detailed plan before starting any new endeavor. Once you have that plan in place, then you can take immediate action and get um, as much accomplished as possible. So this is going back to focusing on your work. So if you decide that you don't want to really, uh, you know, um, get involved in this drama, uh, you know, focusing on your work will bring in the rewards that you need. You can see money coming in. Um, but if you decide that you want to battle or you want to, um, you know, go the distance as far as this particular fight goes, you know, it's going to be difficult. But uh, you know, you will be victorious because the, the chariot card is talking about victory. You do eventually, um, you know, win in the end. But there's, um, you know, a lot of drama that you're going to have to face. And you need to make a decision as to whether that drama is worth it or not uh, before actually, uh, you know, going ahead with this. And, you know, you're going to have to seek some kind of advice uh, in order for you to win the situation as far as the work front goes it looks like you know you're focusing and making plans for the future here you can see this is the two of spears making plans for the future and that will bring in success and will bring in a lot of money and might bring in new opportunities as well because you can see uh, this dragon is coming in over here so this is new opportunities big jobs coming in or lots of money coming in uh, once you start making detailed plans and making plans for the future and also this empress is making plans for the future you can see she's looking to the future making plans so it looks like abundance will come in for you um, you know once you start making plans and deciding what you want to do so it you know the the ball is in your court as to what you want to do for the future and how you want to handle the situation um, and you have to decide whether the drama is going to be worth it or not so I hope this reading has resonated with you please don't forget to like share subscribe leave me some comments if it has thank you so much for watching take care now goodbye